Hey guys, it's Lily. I'm on my little walk here in the evening. I'm midst in my holiday break. Next week I will be starting to work in an architecture office. My exams are over and I thought I used the occasion to film a little 26 things I know to be true because I love a yearly recap and I will regret if I'm not doing it right now. I live quite on the countryside but this is about to change very soon because I'm moving to Zurich and I'm so looking forward to it. But let's start with the first thing. You need to take care actively of the relationships otherwise they will fall apart. Doesn't sound groundbreaking right? But life happens so fast and everyone is busy with minding their own things, their own careers their own partners, hobbies and so on that you can easily lose touch with each other with the connections that you have the relationships you already built so therefore you have to maintain those relationships actively if it's only one-sided you know it's not serving you anymore and you have to let go second thing would be if you're optimistic about the process, the outcome will be just fine. Third thing would be, if you don't stop reading and asking questions, you will never stop learning. Number four, there's not such a thing like one path for you. There are always options and several paths. We're often fixated on this one thing, this one career that we must take on and want to be successful in. But in reality, there's always multiple options and we can choose in what kind of thing we want to focus our energy on and therefore choose. But even if something goes wrong, you will always have options. There's not such a thing like that one thing. Let people be part of your inner world because shutting them out is not worth it. Letting them in and be part of that beautiful inner world of yours is totally vulnerable, scary, but absolutely worth it. Being how you feel will never change a real connection. But if it's not a real one, of course, it might change and then it doesn't serve you anymore and you have to let go. This path is absolutely stunning. Food is fuel, you should treat it that way. Eat what you crave and the nutrition will follow. We're often like overflown with all those mass produced foods. Like if you stick to low processed or non-processed foods you will get all the nutritions that you will need counting down the things that you're grateful for will change your life even if it's just before you go to sleep like count them down or if you are on a walk just things like i'm grateful for being alive of having a family that loves me doing the things that I do daily. Words matter, so use them wisely. Think twice before you say something because words lead to acts and you might never be able to take them back. So think twice before you say something. Stop being afraid of the perfect outcome. Rather embrace the process and trust what might be coming if you work steadily on it instead of this whole perfect goal that you set yourself. Process and continuity are key. Clubbing is fun maybe once or twice a year but other than that getting drunk, being with a lot of people that kind of want to impress each other or hook up with each other is not really romanticizable <laughs> but dancing on the other hand you can never get enough of and you can dance all day every day use the occasions and celebrate a little bit with dancing swimming in the rain is one of the best things in the entire world and i cannot recommend this enough 
how you treat others will definitely reflect on your self-worth and the relationship that you have with yourself. And there's such a thing as karma. So what you give, you will receive back again. Fill your own cup first before you try to serve others. If your self-love and self-worth isn't there, you're only gonna hurt yourself. Therefore, it's so important to learn to be on your own, know your value, and then you can go on with life so much easier. Say yes to absolutely everything and look where it leads you. I'm not meaning destructive things by this, but only like if someone asks you to do something, say yes. If it's about to meet other people, new possibilities, new chances, definitely go for them. If you want to learn a new skill, work daily on it, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. This constant process is what will make you so much more successful in achieving your goals instead of just doing it once, getting frustrated and then forgetting about it and losing faith in realizing your dreams. If someone gets mistreated, speak up because you can. The other one might not have the voice yet and the confidence and the strength. So if you can do it, please speak up for them and always say when something is wrong. Write down the things you want to see, experience and feel and achieve because you have it set somewhere and it's so much more attainable instead of it being just in thin air. We all need something to look forward to. Learn how to rest because you will need that energy. It's really crucial to know when to stop and rest. Disregard what anyone thinks of you because they're all just focused on themselves. So why should you care about them? Unfortunately, I didn't manage to film the video to an end yesterday, so I'm doing this right now. I'm in Zurich, my other hometown, and I will let you know the four last tips. Women are thought to be pretty and quiet, when in reality we should be the exact opposite. We should be loud, inspirational and outstanding. It's a role that has been undermined from centuries and only we can change that. If you wear an outfit that will make you feel comfortable and looks like you have your life together, you actually will. You are never ever too cool to be kind. Kindness is the real coolness. Speak up for what bothers you, otherwise this will eat you alive. If you want to go far, go together. This is it. 26 things I know to be true. I hope you like them and I see you in the next one. Peace